a load error. So, I think I'm ready. Yeah. So let's start with showing up some shit. Um, I had a good bet night. Um, <laughs> because I spent like all night get getting up uh, continuous integration to work for my open source projects. Like, um, for example, the uh, jump cutter thing. Cut the crap, right? That project now has continuous integration, and also Bulbex has continuous integration, and I wanna show it off first. This is really cool. <laughs> it is really cool because uh, it also builds actually the uh, public cache. Here. So yeah, this is it, right? So I have some projects on my GitHub, and they now all build the Frame CI, which is uh, you know like that's pretty standard, I guess. But the important part is that this Travis CI stuff will also use caching to, uh, to like basically store a cache of whatever project you're, you're building and all of the dependencies as well. So whenever uh, someone else wants to build this project, they already get uh, all the dependencies pre-built for them. So they don't have to build that shit themselves. And this just helps myself as well because I use multiple computers, which I do. Um, I can use these public caches. So you now have yuppie.cache on there, which gets the cache information. Cache information. So yeah, that was my night. Until 4 o'clock or something. So now we also have like, uh, you know, an awesome part of the name. We have this little patch to indicate if we finish building or not. And yeah, so this is me figuring out how this stuff works. You can see the time as well, like 18 hours ago, so that was like 12, 12 at... I started working on this at night, 12 at night. So yeah, it was like 4. 4 at night, it was still trying to make a story. It couldn't get it to work. And then finally I found the cache and apparently that, that basically puts this into the time limit. I had the time limit problem, right? Like, I built it for so it could be, you know, when I had the cache it was a lot better. The other thing I figured out, like, I, uh... I forgot how, to, how I did it. This is my problem, like, this is why I always use make files because I forget everything. Ah, uh, this is it. Yeah, you start some PGID like that. It would be handy if that would be in a video. I'm kind of a bit overboard with the benches, I guess. Really heard of. Um, so yeah, let's open up Hibernate then and start implementing those things. And they're not that big. Like, the issue is that we need to move some uh, data from the module. And I thought that you would like to like that. If you want to add, it's just like a big arrow. Maybe it is, but it's like. So the office is in bad mood that day, I guess. What do you say? Um, so I was happy I, I kept it small. I kept it small because this is gonna be bigger. Like, a lot of bullshit change though. Let's see, custom commands. We have custom commands, right? The issue is though that I kind of forgot what I did before. I think we need to put custom commands in the, its own module because we need to depend on uh, refresh. Hmm. What do we need to depend on? Uh, we should probably find it to do. At something bigger. Yeah. You need to depend on help. Oh, you're in custom command, okay. Nice. So in custom command, we need to move this out because help also depends on custom command at the moment. And this thing needs to depend on help. So you get like a cycle, right? This thing needs to depend on help, and help depends already on this because the custom command is in here. Which it needs to, you know, uh read the database. It needs to have the is instance. The is entity and the data. So, we'll move this out into a separate module. I, I just remember this stuff, I guess. <laughs> so we call it like custom command type of the HS. Right. And then the only thing we put in here is this. Is entity custom command block. 
And now we can import that from here. Wait, I still have the autosave on. Uh, we should disable that first. Otherwise, uh, we're gonna have a bunch of style conflicts. Yeah, before save, thank you. And now we need to go to Emacs. What alpha? Like, if normally if I save, it will uh, format it, right? But I'm using a different formatter than Toning does. So we, we can't do this. I need to undo this. And then we need to disable that auto formatting. Pascal mode. And I don't really want to argue about formatting. <laughs> I don't think anyone wants to argue about the formatting. So yeah, we can just evaluate this region. Set Q status on save blah. Eval region. So now Haskell status on save is nil. And now we can save. Cool. We have to type. Make using current custom command. Right, we still need to delete this from here. Now we imported the custom command type, but we haven't deleted this code. So it thinks there are two of them now, even though we want them to be the same thing. Now we get a bunch of uh, unused by import. That's fine. We just delete it, whatever it says is in used. Uh, it's kind of unfortunate you have to do this by hand, but whatever. I'm getting this to work right. Uh, well, yeah, you know, we, we worked on yesterday in pimping my editor. It's pimped now. We have Dante, okay? We have Dante. It says it's busy. I don't know what it's doing. Hmm. Uh, we don't care about command. We don't care about replies. We don't care about monad. I don't even care about monad. I think most of this should be deleted, right? Oh, you wanted to have M. You want to have maybe as well, okay. Time, effect, parser. You want to have entity as well. Uh, Yuri. No, I think I, I, I got distracted, probably. <laughs> Come to think of it. Custom set variables, huh? I sound like a neat trick, but the extra careful. It changes the alignment and this little nasty surprises with regard to the layout. Hey, what's up, Richie Nang? Richard and Gwyn. <laughs> uh, we're um, doing some Haskell development, I guess. Building, changing someone else's chatbot, really. Richard and Richard, right? Yeah. I don't think I can do TDD for front end. It's it's like doing test driven development for front end. It's <laughs> yeah, I, I just don't see the advantage because you know if you do front end development, you can just open up the page and see what's what's going on, right? You can just do it visually. <laughs> That's what I get from it, at least. Nexus rebuild switch. Still, I'm committing slow suicide. <laughs> wow. Like, that system, I think, is built for very, very large organizations where they just know have very precise definitions of what the front end should look like. <laughs> Not for startups, I think. Okay, let's try this out. Now you should have a nicer Haskell. I should have cool looking Haskell. Even cooler, I guess. Low suicide. Oh! <laughs> Look at that. Let's, uh, let's go to Hypernerd and see what they have in store for us. Uh, where we need to go? We need to go to custom command, right? Yeah. Yep. Command 68. Oh, that is Dante. I think I'm go. I'm only going to do just backend. But if you want to make a startup, you need to do both, right? Like that's what I've been doing. <laughs> or you, I mean, test different development only for backend, right? Hmm. You know what I really like? Bug-driven development, where you only make unit tests for bugs, because then you don't have to test the obvious shit. And if you like encounter some, you know, hard bug, then you make a test for it. It's less, less like, but I'm a noob. But you still have obvious shit, right? This thing will help me. If it, I mean, you test by hand, right? You have some expectation of your code and see if it works. By the way, I'm also testing, right, with types. I'm just using types. This is type error. It's just a different way of testing, I guess. Uh, follow the types, Luke, exactly. Look at that! There is a lambda! Look at that! This is your school, Richie. Look at that! It's in my code! The lambda! It's real! <laughs> yeah, probably need to add parentheses around this entire thing. <laughs> I 
Oh, it's for Monad. Oh no, this is not a Monad. You switch to Inconsolata, Mono, I reckon it looks better. Even better. What I don't like is that this is no longer ligatured. Is it? Well, maybe it is. It is! What does it do with bind? Mm. I'm upset. What about fish? Does it do fish? No fish! <laughs> Your font is too fat. I'm not sure if I like this. I think I like the other one better. Uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna disable it. I'm sorry, man. I need my Vera code. By the way, did you know my Vera code also exists in my browser? I have it on Hackage. Uh, okay. Yeah, I've seen okay. I'm just flexing. Casually flexing. This doesn't work, though. Well, I think you were the one that noticed it, probably. <laughs> I didn't even notice. Uh, we're gonna disable it. We're gonna disable Haskell or something. I forgot. Hmm. They're making. It's not extensive. But they're doing like standard ones. Oh, I know! Actually, there are like open source packages that do the same thing. Um, they would ask you to, to like type a question and then, you know, they will build like a SQL query for you. I forgot the name though. Something meta. I don't know. Metabase? Okay, let's do some Docker stuff. <laughs> What's Metabase? It's not extensive, but they're doing like standard ones. Metabase, huh? Do I have it still? Hmm. I think it takes a long time to set up, right? And you can have videos, whatever. It's kind of like Metabase, I think. Except, you know, not having to host your own, own solution for that. Which is nice. Um, why did I close that? We still need that. We need to refresh. But I don't know how to combine reactions with each other. I don't know how to do that. Maybe we can like lift and do nothing. Current help state. What is this? We need to also know the reaction API itself. Lift first. I'm applying an effect. Oh, I have a tuple of things. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, you need to read it backwards, right? Like, because you give me this function A to effect B, and you have some reaction A to B, A and B, we can derive that from reaction A. That's how you read it. This guy goes backwards, I guess, because of the rules. Fuck. Yes! <laughs> By the way, in PureScript, you can use Unicode prelude. And just use Unicode symbols. You can do it in Haskell, what the hell, man? <laughs> if Unicode syntax. You know, you can use negation. <laughs> you can use lambdas. Lies! <laughs> you know, what do you think, where do you think PureScript comes from? They didn't invent anything themselves. They just like, kind of add some sugar to Haskell. It's all Haskell under the hood. <laughs> and then, you know, they, did, they betrayed us by becoming strict. Filthy hack. <laughs> I'll go back to your strictness. We should delete this as well. We're gonna fix that. We're gonna fix this. I just don't know how. Rim reaction. We just can do both reactions, right? The effect is a monad, isn't it? You're a monad. Are you? What is WA then? We wanna have a message. What? We're inside a message. That's a W. And the A can be anything. You don't care. You don't give a fuck what you get. Fly message. You got raw polymorphism, do you? Okay. I'll show you raw polymorphism in Haskell. I'll just Google it. Some guy showed me weird ass library. Ooh. Look at that. Look at that. This is a library. <laughs> It's really easy to use. There's no type level magic going on at all. The fuck? I don't know what the fuck this is. <laughs> type families, don't worry about it. <laughs> I guess it's just like union. You just got like set operations on, on rows. It's fine. Don't worry about it. For all. Yeah. Type plus for all. <laughs> now you're upset, aren't you? Could a match expected type message A with actual type unit? You wanna have a message, huh? 
I can give you a message. I gave you a message. East. I don't understand why there's not an end reaction already. We can just run one and put it in the other one with lift. We'll run reaction X. Put it into lift R. Why do pure x prime comma y? Oh, there you go. Beautiful. <laughs> Run reaction x x prime. Is this compile? A few arguments. Mm, you need to have the argument as well. Huh? Yeah, but you're of a different type. Okay. Maybe we need to lift twice then. Right, we can do that in the effect itself. We don't want to run, but we want to lift. But well, that's it, I guess. Because then we get a reaction back as well, which can change type, right? No, because it go back. Okay, what the fuck? Okay, we're not gonna do this. <laughs> I don't know. Let us let someone else that figure that out. <laughs> Done. <laughs> I don't know, this looks great. It works, okay? It works. Uh, we can also update the command. Let's see, what do we have? Pure script Elm. LP Monad, Ctrl C, Ctrl V Monad. I'm not sure if you can do this. But I say to myself to make myself feel better. Well, but it works, right? It works! <laughs> That's all we need. <laughs> uh, I mean, unless you know how to figure it out, tell me. <laughs> Tell me, how does this stuff work? How do I go? How do I make an end reaction? It can do an either reaction, apparently. Like this stuff really reminds me of. By the way, you can express. Um, you can express maybe reaction in either reaction, right? Sure, maybe. No, okay. So, like the way to look at this is this is the uh, interface, I guess, the interface, and you can put this stuff in, and then you get this stuff out. That's usually how it works. The problem with this is it goes the opposite direction. Like you put in the A, you put in the B, and then it goes it goes the wrong way. It's really confusing. So yeah, like here for example, you get a B first as an argument, but this function gets out the A. That's here. It's like the result. You but you get it as an argument in here. So it's like the opposite way. It's just not right. It's not right. Okay. Sex for you, mate. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Sex indeed. We can have this epic song all day in our heads. Let's just commit this. Pushy pushy. What the fuck happened here? What the fuck is this? Why? No! Bad. Oh, it's doing that autosave stuff. No, 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 no. Don't do it. Bad. Like, it's, it's doing formatting. Not allowed. Uh, yeah, this is right. What is What are you? Wait, why do I have... Oh, because I killed Emacs. Fuck. Um... <laughs> What's up, Grumic? <laughs> We're actually working on that hypernet right now. Uh, but uh, I did some formatting and I need to undo everything now. We solved the puzzle though. We know what to do. Just put it in here. There you go. And undo everything. Undo, 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 undo. Undo, 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 undo. Okay, I'm waiting this stuff to go back, but it doesn't go back. Okay, we need to actually use Git, I guess. <laughs> Dominic streaming. Okay. Okay. Think okay? Hi, are you? How are you? I'm like about this high. How high are you? <laughs> it's a bad joke. I can bring a six if you bring the nine. Is that like, uh... Are you like flirting or something? What is this? <laughs> Open source is broke people. Yes. It doesn't pay very well. You can put it on your resume. Actually, when Soaring mentioned that, that people put it on their resume, I, like a little ding went off in my mind. Like, why did why am I not doing this? What the hell? <laughs> why are you wasting all this time on it? Not even taking advantage of the time wasting in question. We didn't do it right. We need to import types. 
fucked up that. We fucked up Reddit. We need to import... How are you called? Let's just pretend you exist, right? My resume is toilet paper. <laughs> okay. <laughs> are you just like... Everything works? Are you just gonna like, you know... N n try and make a joke in every sentence? That's, that's gonna be hard, man. It's gonna be really hard. I do, I do appreciate the effort though, but it is challenging. I'm not trying anything. Okay, just my worldview. You're just trying your worldview. Like, it, so you're trying it out and you you hope to change it at some day? Or are you saying that your worldview is trying to make a joke in every sentence? Let's update some command or add a command. Worldview. Different people see the same thing differently. It could be both true. What same thing are you talking about? I just see something different. <laughs> like, I feel your chat is just constantly trying to troll me. Not that I mind. You should try harder, chat. Come on, you can win. Blender typeface. JavaScript, huh? Is this your life? Built from code. Is it light? Late? No, it's not even late. How, how are you building with JavaScript? What the fuck? I do like this one. I'm not gonna say it's bigger than VR code, but I feel there's potential here. How does it look with Haskell? How does it look with like PureScript or Haskell? Do you have an example? How does it do bind? Ooh. How about fish? Where's fish? He took so many fish! Where's fish? Like, everyone knows that fish is the best op- What the fuck is this? <laughs> what the fuck? I don't know which one is fish. I can't read it, man. You can use a nice font and have Vera code like it just, you know. <laughs> you just don't like Vera, I guess. You don't have enough tabs open yet to understand. Oh, whoops. I need to add open more tabs. Don't worry, that will happen during, during my stream. Don't worry about that. I will open up more tabs for sure. You can just use uh, the way you have Fira code like just set up with Emacs. It will work with any font. Really? I know because I have your setup. <laughs> really? <laughs> I like the ligatures. I hate the font. It hurts my eyes. What is? Like it's nice. What? Like I get I get a lot of positive feelings from Fira code. Maybe I'm completely biased because it just took so long to set up that I I can I, like if I go to something else. It's like abandoning my, all my effort, even though I still will keep the ligatures, which is like the important part. I, I just put so much effort in it, like, I, I, it must have been longer than weeks. At least a week or two. Sounds crazy, but I had to do it twice, because, you know, I got it to work on Fordora at some point. And then I moved to Nixos, and I had to, you know, do, redo things. And then I also, at the same time, I, I rebooted Emacs, like I got rid of the um, Space Max and, and, you know, went native. I like it just I hit the phone. Okay, why would anyone waste time on Linux? Amateurs. Yeah, you shouldn't waste time in general, I think. No, we need to go here. Let's make a PR. We pushed right? No. We didn't even commit, what the fuck? Why did I thought we push? Okay, let's let's go to the diff again. Okay, we deleted custom commands from custom command, right? We we added the reaction because we need to refresh. So this is like the combination of two reactions, I guess. And then you know we put it everywhere. Eh? Where's the other? Oh, we didn't add it. Okay, okay, okay. The other module. We need to add the other module. Now we can do diff staged. So, we deleted this shit because we moved it to another module, that's fine. We deleted the command because we no longer, we fixed this, so it's fine. And uh, we also need to copy this over and put it in the PR. Uh, this is like where we moved it to, which we needed to do because we're depending on help now. We should also add a comment why this is in a separate module, I guess. That's a good idea. Yes, I appreciate you too, Gapoli. Why do you like coding? What's the meaning? Why do you care? How is it productive? Coding gives me power! Because I'm coding, I'm, I feel bigger. Like, you know how some people uh, buy big cars to, 
boost their ego. I get good at coding, that's what I do. And then, you know, show it off. Make impressive shit. Uh, what is... Okay, we... Because custom command now depends. Because uh, help depends on this type. But custom command needs to refresh help. out of custom command to break cycle cycle dependency cycle help depends on this type but custom needs to refresh help and therefore also depends on this type this type. That's it. This is the comment. Excellent. So you are egomaniac. I mean, that's that you're putting words in my mouth. But basically, yes. <laughs> you should read Ego. It's the enemy by Ryan Holiday. Egomaniac. What does it even mean? Is this like a bestseller? I probably won't read bestsellers. I don't like your consumerism. Give me the good old fashioned shit. Yeah, let's give it 20 years and see how it age. We need to add the comment as well. Okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thanks, man. Dominic Streaming. How come you you have streaming in your name? Are you streaming as well? What do you stream, man? Um, updates, custom commands in help after they changed. I'm streaming you. At font of code suit. I'm. I I, I think I. I told you guys that I, I'm not gonna... Oh right, we wanted to do the weird language. We want to do that array-based language. What is what is it called? Like, Lumi came with it, right? Weird-ass array-based language. The one with... You couldn't type. Used to stream three years ago. Okay. Now, now I started saying okay as well. <laughs> Thanks. That's, that's what you did to me. Then got more money from other business. <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> What do you thought? You could get rich by streaming? Ha! No. No, 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 no. It's kind of interesting because, you know, Soding is marginally successful at, at streaming. But he quite often mentioned he wants to get out of the Twitch contract. Because they basically take 50%, which is a lot. <laughs> what are our business? Yeah, I'm curious. Reprogramming. Okay, I think this is it. Done. Let's let's go do some video editing. Let's do some automated video editing. We're done with the shit. A bit custom commands in the help after the change. Uh, this won't be cut up. So the only thing that will be cut up is the video and the voice. And then the music will just keep on playing, whatever. I really understand this. <laughs> toning fields. Toning fields. Honey. Uh, yeah. So that's like the second part of track hackery. First part, we already did this. This is like really, really good editing. Secondly, we want to make sure the background music doesn't get edited and just keeps on playing. Okay, okay. Uh, this should actually be quite easy because we, first of all, we already have a option for this, right? Oh no, excellent. Hey, it's working. Look at that. Hey, Denta, Denta works. Hey, Skybro, by the way, didn't you have like PR for this? Don't. <laughs> What's wrong with this? Are you bitching about my, my snake case? Seriously? And let me know when your code, you're done and it fails. It already works! What are you talking about? This, this program is already working. <laughs> it's just like, I'm making it better. It's available online if you want to use it. It's free. Yeah, but your bank account is the same. Oh, you mean like as a startup? Right, right. Yeah. That's gonna be a bit, bit more involved. 
But uh, let's make it good first, and then think about how to make money of it. <laughs> That's actually, you know, if other people would start using it, I would be quite uh, happy. That would be a good indication that it's start up a ball. But I'm thinking it's start up a ball. I just need to prove it for, to myself first. <laughs> like I have a, like a little, little, little sparkle in my head. It could be start up a ball. And now everything breaks. Could I disable this check? It's annoying. I want to have snake case for lenses. Why don't you like my lenses? Hmm. Uh, let's not focus on this. Let's actually do something useful. Let's go to the lip. This is like the main entry point, I guess, of the program. What the fuck is this? Oh, you're even finding double imports. How about that? And we're done with dues. God, I kind of like h -Link. Um, Why? Oh. I see. Okay, cool. So this program is kind of a mess, but you know, we wanted to make it work first before figuring out how to make it nice. Actually, this entire piece of code can just be deleted. It's fine. Like you have to make it much more consumer friendly and to minimize my energy needed to start using it. I know, I know how to do startup things, okay? <laughs> but you, I like focusing on that right now doesn't make sense because it doesn't even work well for me personally as like the one who built it. I need to make it good for myself first. You have huge ego, but it's your problem. Yes, whatever. Okay. Um. Pure. Why are you pure? Don't need that. Mm. I'm not really mad. I'm just like kind of annoyed. <laughs> I mean, you have like a really short-term focus. I think. I just want to try shit out. That's it. Audio, audio track. So this means track. And then there's like track one, track two, track three. What we can do is uh, select some of these tracks. So the, the track one is combining both audio from the microphone with audio from the uh, computer itself. Track two is just the microphone and track three is just the music from the computer. So what I want to do is actually get track three out, which would be just the music. It's your girlfriend code too. Oh, she wasn't a hacker, unfortunately. Um, yeah, so let's crank up the music actually and let's listen to that audio file. Yeah. Project looks cool, thanks. It's really soft. <laughs> oh wait, actually it may be louder because uh, I'm, I just put music soft down. Okay, okay, okay. So this is all music. I'm saying stuff here but you don't hear it because I'm on a separate track now. I selected the other audio track. We don't even hear the keyboard. But this is what we want, right? We want to pull out this audio track and put it into the resulting video without it being edited. So we'll just like, want to, you know, pull it out first, I guess. Tracks my attention. Tracks your attention. That's nice. I mean, it's a really simple project as well. I wish someone else would have done this for me. Then I wouldn't have gone to all this issue, to all this trouble. Uh, well, like FFmpeg has done this kind of, but you know, so this thing says uh, from import file zero, which we're gonna define later, uh, get out source three. That's that's what the map thing does. And we learned this in the other streams, by the way. This is also all on video. I, I knew nothing about NFFmpeg before starting with this stuff. So let's actually open up that one and see if we can get out the just the audio, I guess. Uh, and something else we wanna do is uh, not pull out everything, but just the first part. So we want to start at like a zero and then the duration will be T like maybe 120. So it's like 120 seconds, I think. Yeah, that's what T means. Uh, and then finally, we also need to specify what the final format will be. So this is like ddd.mp3, uh, ddd.mp3, excellent. Or 69 maybe, we're too late. Okay, so FFmpeg doesn't like us doing um, spaces. It hates spaces. Uh, in fact, it hates spaces. So we need to go to streams. There I have these without spaces. Because I actually need to edit these later as well, these streams. So I just, like, you know, rename them and mark them with date. It's like a little, uh, little pipeline going on of stuff I still need to do. 
Let's see. SST. We didn't do the map. Right. Forgot about the map. Let's add map again. Map 03. Invalid input. L index 0. Okay. How about file index 1? Invalid. <laughs> I know, we need to do this at the output. Right, that's that's the problem. We want to map the output. We don't want to map the input. Okay. Okay, we can do this. Zero three. Come on, man. Output file zero does not contain any stream. Hmm. Can't wait until it succeeds. You are good at problem solving. Okay. I'm not sure if I'm good at problem solving. Keep going. I will help you, my bro. Brothers forever. <laughs> You're like completely flipped around. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Um. What's wrong with you? What is wrong with me? Let's see. Why? So I think I know filter. No, not filter. Or no, this is combining streams. We just want to get one out. I think I did it before, right? I just forgot. Uh, experiment. Select the right track with map. Yeah, this is it. Just input. MK01. Maybe there's no three or something. Mm. One. Output file. We forgot the dash I. We forgot the dash I. Okay. <sighs> we forgot the dash I. We need to add dash I so it knows it's an input file. Right, because you need to define first the things you want to add to the input file, like how you want to modify it. Then you say it's an input file, and then finally you... Because you can have multiple input files, it's not positional, like closure or whatever. Force backup... No, 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 Something buffer. Oh my god, there's too much. I, don't, I completely forgot what I did. What did I do? I mean, I have video evidence, I guess, but... Dante... Fly check mode. Add Haskell mode hook dent mode. No 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 no. Maybe it's in Haskell mode. Maybe yeah. I put all my shit in there, right? In any buffer. Emacs disable mini buffer. I think I follow this question, right? Inhibit message true. No 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 no. Uh, hmm? oh, no works. I fucked it up. I'll go for a walk. See you later, man. Video evidence. What are you looking for? Like I disabled this mini buffer somehow, but I forgot how I did. How I did. How I did it. Oh, I know. We can look in the log. I guess that's a good idea. Device. No, that's evil. I think it was this. Display error function, nil. Yeah. So this is a fly check, I guess. There you go. Pop-up was working though. It wasn't working! There is no pop-up! What are you... <laughs> it... Where do you see it? There is no pop-up! Oh. Okay. I see. Okay. 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 But I'm not gonna move my mouse every fucking time. That's, that's insane. Do you like Onoke? Do you have Onoke? Oneko. Oneko. Oneko? Onoke. Oneko. We're gonna we're gonna have Oneko. You, you did you did it. Linux. Can't follow. It's oh. <laughs> so much fun. This is so much fun. Oneko, yes. Oh this I actually had it right. Cool. Next shell. We gotta get on Echo. You did it. it it's, this is your fault. No! Yes! It's there now. Only one. Like, if you do, if you screw up like this again, we'll get another one. And it's gonna follow the other one. The existing one. <laughs> Damn cats. <laughs> well, I would be careful if I were you. I'm gonna get another one. Cut the crap. That's where we're gonna go. It took me way too long to realize, but we, we realized finally. Oh, Dante? Come on, Dante. Come on, Dante. Oh, look at that. It's, it's, fuck, it's huge. What? Why are you so big? Just unplug the mouse if you don't want to use it. But I can't because it's... <laughs> I guess I can disable the power. 
But that wouldn't be any fun for you guys. It's a perfect size, it's huge. Look at that! What is this, like, three paragraphs? What do I do? Many bay for window height. What is that? <sighs> Mini buffer can automatically take minimal amount of space required. There's some tweaking you can do to use the space more efficiently. So we have cut video, right? Expect them files. Let me just copy over this. Modify it to our needs. I don't know what shell. It is beautiful. It is beautiful. Wait, how do you get shell then? Oh, you're you're importing all of turtle, but you're also importing qualified turtle. What the fuck? Why aren't you importing turtle? Oh, we are qualified. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, this code is this prime code. Best shit ever. We need to have 10 files, for sure. We need to combine it, and we need to run that shit. And we're not gonna com call this combine, we're gonna call it something else. We're gonna call it... Get music. Maybe we're gonna file paths as well. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Let's get music then. Um, why? Well, at least we have a massive mini buffer to tell us why. Oh my god. But now it goes to the right. I don't, I don't understand this. Why does it go to the bottom otherwise? I don't actually mind the right. Can we always have it pop up on the right? That would be nice. I guess. But now you do the bottom. Why? This is so random. That cat is amazing. I love the cat. Cat is love the cat's life. Uh, you don't need to do, I guess. That's your issue. Um, grab another scope FM pack. Can use the band on FFM pack. Just type. Let's just do nothing for now and we'll see later what to do with it. I think we're just gonna have to find a constant file name for the music. Yeah. Describe variable initial frame on list. You want me to do that? Frame. Its value is vertical scroll bars. If the value calls for frame parameters for initial X window frame, you can set it in the, your init file. For example, initial frame a list is a vertical is a variable defined in frame L. Its value is vertical scroll bars. Mm -hmm. I think you can configure its position. A list is a map member of initial X window frame. You can set this initial issue, initial file. Frame is... Hmm, what's a frame again? So they have windows, which is these things, I guess. Like this is a window, that's a window. And then the frame is like the entire thing around it. But this is a frame, and that's a frame. And this has just one window, which is like, you know, what we see. And this thing has two windows. Uh, the mini buffer with the help stuff. And then the other thing, which is like the main buffer, I guess. Okay, I don't know. Uh, let's just keep it like this. It's fine, we'll, fi we'll fix the feature. And I'll fix it another time, maybe. Eventually. No, no, no. It's just fall path, right? Fall path here. Yeah. Music is. Can you configure its position? I don't know. If I can. Void. I run 20. No, it's just a font size. <laughs> this is 1920 by. Uh, 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 like, like, the issue is I need to reduce to stream. Normally I have this. Mm, I need to reduce myself. Maybe I'll get used to it. No, it's not the output. No, not output. No, no copy. No copy, no output. We'll make a temp file, we'll make music. Uh, temp files. Music. Just trolling you. I think I have enough. I've had enough trolling today. <laughs> oh my god.
nine inch screen, huh? You can stream on my telephone. That would be also kind of interesting. You could uh, debug. You could debug your web app with uh, Chrome. Run it on Android. And I have more USB slots, so we can totally do that. It's slow as fuck though. It's really slow. Maybe because I have a cheap ass phone as well. Also tomorrow night bigger. God damn it! What the hell? <laughs> this why we can't have nice things. What is this? If it's more spectacular than Molokai, I might consider it, but I doubt it. Uh, what is this? Like, um. Color scheme? Yeah. What's this disgusting code? What the fuck is a class? Do you mean type classes? No. Nowhere. Thanks that you make it me appreciate in hacks. I really needed that. Which one do you mean then? There are multiple. Uh. Is this one? Doing it all wrong. Okay. <laughs> it's not helping me like that. But sure. Let's see. So now we have... What am I doing wrong? I mean, like you're just saying I'm doing it all wrong. I'm not really sure what you're referring to. <laughs> just kidding, okay. <laughs> Good job. Thanks. So finally we do combine there and I write it to the output file. But what I want to do is say no. Don't write to output file. Right to some other file. And then I can still, you know, do this step. Oh, I see what we do. So we either do this shit or we just copy it over the output. Okay, okay. So it's like a combined output as well then. Um, yeah. Output. Oh, now you don't need it anymore, huh? That's pretty cool. Sixty-five. <laughs> there are just some side effects. Combined there. And then finally, we'll do get music. Which is set prime prime prime. What's the file? Oh, the stem files. Okay, okay. Damn. But you need to be IO. You can run you in IO though. Oh! <laughs> Thanks for gifting a gift sub to Lumi, Skybro. <laughs> You've given two gift subs. Wow, that's amazing. Oh, where are you thankful? Really happy for that. Oh, it's because <laughs> he asked for funds, and now it's a friend. <laughs> That's why. I wonder if you could just um, derive people's personalities based on what fonts are, what color scheme they like. Obviously crazy, this, this Molokai. Yes, yes. The mad god agrees. <laughs> You're mixing it up. I used to in Consolata before, when I didn't, couldn't get um, Veracode to work. It's like my fallback. Consolata. With no ligatures. <laughs> yeah, you should do it. It's a, it's a buy. It's just 2,000 euros. I think you can still use in Consolata with your beloved Veracode. I told you. Good day. What's up, Fireglow? Oh, thanks for the sub, Grimmick. Wow, so many sub cells. <laughs> I found this stream, which is not a game that stream. <laughs> yes, we're doing video editing, automated video editing. A sellout stream, exactly. <laughs> oh, what is that? The sellout stream, indeed. We have like cats running around. It's amazing. At least we know not to use a mouse. Not to use a mouse. Um, yeah. I like to build projects that are useful to me. <laughs> so that's usually not games. Mouse pointer cats are love, really. <laughs> so, actually, I'm punishing Skybro with this because uh, I don't know, I don't remember why, but we people were punishing Skybro for some reason. He upset me for some reason. I just wanted to save a first batch in case you get famous. <laughs> exactly, that's the uh, that's the spirit. <laughs> I doubt we got famous, but in a few days it will be the advent of Code Stream. This won't be the advent of Code Stream. <laughs> What am I doing? 
although, well, you know, what we could do is have like a, a guest doing the advent of code and I'll have, have snarky comments on it. How about that? When they are 21 subs, I will, one will be the outcast. <laughs> so excited. <laughs> when there are 21 subs, one will be outcast. I don't know what you mean by this. All right, we need to combine, we need to combine. That's what I was thinking, to combine. Combine. I think the first batch is for the first 20 subs, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, you, you're not you're not close to the, to that uh, 21 limit. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I think it's first 10 though. Like it says so, right? Found it. Mm. Oh, like a few people already have it. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> you're first, but Grimmick is also first guy, bro. Oh, I think Garotical was actually first first. But you're about like as equal first, I guess. Come to think of it. But you're longer, right? And you're also a gifter. I give you the first year. <laughs> Fan back. Mm. I think we need to have another function. Because we need to combine music as well. Combine music with options. We don't need options, I think. No, we don't need options. We'll delete everything except FFM back. Fan pack. What are you doing? We want to have you in arcs, huh? And then, but what we want is, let's see, we want to combine this thing. It's back, but slow. Yeah, I think it's just. I think they're getting dust then or something. Maybe China is upset again. Maybe they hurt the feeling of the people of the Republic of China again. It used to be like a. I read a blog post about hurting the feelings of the People's Republic of China and when it happens. How you how you could hurt your own. How you could hurt the feelings of the People's Republic of China. Hmm. No, no, let's not get distracted. I want to go there, but. No, no, no. We'll make something work today, okay? We'll make something work. We'll make something out of ourselves, maybe. Maybe. We need to filter complex. No, not with music. What am I doing? We need to have combined output. That's the other one. And then we need to have music file. Exactly. That's music. Music. Okay. We got music file. We got combined file. Which will be the... No, we need to have the with music files final output. Right? The with music file will be the eventual output. So we're combining uh, the video, which is the mp4, with the silent. That's the music, I presume. I hope. Uh, and then we need to like copy over all these spells. Whatever the fuck this is, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. C copy, yes, AC, blah, 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 short. Shortest, that's important, because that, that will indicate that if the... We know for a fact that the video will be shorter. So we cut out the rest of the music that's longer, right? That's what that does. So, yeah. And the other thing I wanted to look up is... Yeah, you're not a combined file, you're with music file. So what happens is, like, if you are... If we don't have this music track option, we will return a combined output as a result. And if we do have that option, we're gonna run all this stuff, and the eventual result will be with music file. And we're gonna copy that over to the final result. So this allows you to skip this step entirely. And this code is actually disgusting, but that's fine. <laughs> that's fine, because I don't want to fix it. <sighs> Suggestions are welcome, by the way. But uh, I don't know how to do it neatly at the moment. I need to think about it. But I just want to make it work. Does GitHub have continuous integration now? Uh, Travis has. I set it up for my shit, like the other day, actually in the night. <laughs> oh yeah, Chatterino has UI scaling settings. Yes, it's pretty good. It appears to have changed stuff. Good freaking bye, Chatty. Yeah, Chatterino is a lot better. <laughs> uh, but if you're on Nixos, it, it can be a bit problematic to get it to work. <laughs> uh, you need to have the latest version of Nixos, I think. And then you can use, uh, yeah, you can use it. Apparently this compiles, but you know for a fact it won't work. Oh, it wasn't there. It wasn't there earlier today. 
action tabs and repo. Oh, oh right. So like they they hold they host their own continuous integration, I suppose. But I I don't want to figure that out. I just wanted to copy over stuff from the internet, so I didn't use that. Even though I set up continuous integration for the first time uh, in the night, which is also why I'm kind of uh, yeah. So we shut up all this shit. Uh, I think at four night, four a.m. in the night. That was nice. It was a good night. I may have the actions, choose workflow, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Yeah, but it's confusing because it doesn't support Nix. And I know for a fact Travis support Nix. And you know, if you have Nix, then you're basically done with the continuous integration, right? The only thing you want to do is Nix build, done. That's, that's all you want. So they don't support something which is super easy to add. Give you all this shit. Oh, okay. Actually, come to think of it, this filter complex command is just one mis massive thing. Uh, a merge. And we need a map zero video. Right, the first input will be video. Zero video. Uh, at least with Jenkins around. I don't feel alone. Jenkins. And it's very fast because it doesn't do anything. And now we have the first two minutes, right? I don't think Nixos is special that Lake of Life is already hard enough. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Lumi, why are you destroying my nice things? <laughs> I want to be special. <laughs> my mom called me special. Kill the music. Right, alright, Haskell is special to you. I'm gonna be quiet. <laughs> uh, actually, we need to also crank up the volume. Crank up the volume. Don't worry, you're very special. Thank you. I am special. Wait, I don't think I'm saying anything here. Oh my god! Okay, cool, that works. So we have a video and we have some sound in the video. Now we want to see if our new uh, cool commands thing works. So we're just going to test it out. Uh, yeah. Next shell. We want to go into the next shell. And we want to do cable run, right? Um, maybe new run? <laughs> this looks about right. Yeah. Uh, there's probably nothing there, so you can just safely do this. Whatever. Um, and then we do f uh, music track, right? That's three. Music track is three. And input will be in a local directory, the input file. Input.mkv. An out file will be whatever, Lisp interpreter, blah, blah, blah. Or we just call it out.mkv, that's fine. So this should have the... Um, so the first part will just be entirely cut out, but we shouldn't be cutting the music at all. So the music should be just playing along nicely, even though we're cutting it. In. That's that's what we want. And it's probably gonna crash, so <laughs> don't worry about it. No, we, it's compiled, so it should work, right? It should work. It's not gonna work. This 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 doesn't have nothing to do with. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it already exit failure one. There you have it. Oh, we're forgetting the quotes, I guess. Something. Why? Zero two match. Oh, we. I okay. Okay, 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 okay. So we didn't copy over the tracks. I think. I don't know why. Um. So our input file no longer has tracks. Input that mkv. Yeah, it's gone. Hmm. I don't know. How do you keep the tracks? Maybe we just need to map it or something. back come on man maybe you don't need to map it oh wait this is in the shell we need it outside of the shell so we get like an, another reverse search if we do it inside then if we do it outside because reasons uh, copy zero zero is it like this Maybe. Input.mkv. 
So now we have this. <laughs> Apparently, by default, by default, it doesn't copy over the tracks for some reason. And you need to specifically say that you want to keep everything uh, in the input file. Uh, okay, whatever. So now we can run, try running this program again with the actual mappings in place. See if it works. Fingers crossed, guys. Fingers crossed. So now it's doing like analysis, figuring out what is science, what's not, and it's only... Okay, uncut exception, blah. <laughs> what happened? Does not exist. Okay, we need to add a slash, I think. Oh no! There's a lot of places! <laughs> this is how they keep the, the working man down. Adding slashes everywhere. And then we can copy over that shell command. See how if it works. Uh, because we already have a mkv file. We have the input.mkv and we're gonna try and combine it with uh, blah.mp3. See if this command is actually valid. So this is what's being run. And I think this is the best way of actually debugging this run it in shell. <laughs> because we're having shell problems. This is a professional Haskell setup. Just run it in shell. Bind. Can you debugger do this? Bind output. .mkv. Mm -hmm. We had an input at mkv. I want an input. Wait, what the fuck? This just seems to work. So it can't find the actual output file with music. It can't find with music for some. Is this why it's crashing? Uncaught exception exit failure. Maybe we're copying over the wrong thing. Let's actually print here. Uh, let's print here. Done. See if we get there. I'm not sure. Like, I'm not sure where it's crashing. If it's crashing here or if it's or it's crashing here. Because I think the command is actually working. So I don't see anything obviously broken. Hmm. Hmm. No, we're not getting there. So the command is failing for some reason. You can't find the input. That could be it. Not the input. Huh? Well, let's see. You're running combine music. Right. And combine music. We're running first these arcs. Temp file. I kind of need a directory to not be temporary. <laughs> let's uh, let's say you are just working in I don't know. Because then I can debug better. Okay, let temp is temp one. Oh, I think it needs to be created as well, huh? Why? I need to be an I.O. Oh, actually, then we can just keep it like this and do lift I.O. Do. Just put everything in slash temp, whatever. You don't need to make one. Then I can rerun the command and just see what's happening. <laughs> like, we're spitting out the command every time we're running it. Every command we're running, we're spitting out. So let's input that text, this is a directory. Hey, what the fuck? Oh, that's a problem. Apparently someone else already made that as a directory. Uh, yeah, you can have name clashes if you do it like this. That's why originally I didn't do it like that and just use this with temp directory thing. Okay, it's really upset with me. Um, I guess we can use like use sh make dear. Make dear and temp. But you need to be in IO. Lift IO Shelly Shell, huh? One Ten. Right, we need to parse it as well. Uh, parse something parse, I forgot. Something parse <laughs> decode string. Of course. It's it should be decoded. It should not be parsed. Crazy, crazy, stupidly coded. Okay, so like what happened was this input, no, not input path, input of text. And I would like summon it from the void as well. Here, temp combine, and we need to add that. Inputs path to whatever was using it before, which is probably 
this. Yeah. <laughs> this is really bad program. <laughs> Setting IO option, plantation aspect, Mitch mess brackets. Fucked up? You fucked up. I fucked up? You fucked up. Lip 72. No. Change. I don't know what. Maybe I didn't save that file or something. Probably. Oh, we need to delete that folder as well. Yeah. Try again. Try again. I think I'm gonna end it soon as well. Uh, but I think it's working now. Like, I think a half hour saying it's working. Done! Done! It says done! It said done! Are we done? What was the output even? Out.mpv. So. So there was a cut here, right? If you, I'm not sure if you can see this, but there's like a little jump in the video. So I'm like moving position. So I think it's working. And the music is still playing along. We, we don't hear any cuts in the music. Which is what I wanted. So the audio is being cut. And the video is being cut. But the music is not being cut. Yay! We did it! Hooray! <laughs> Done! Done. I'm happy. Okay, cool. I think... I think I'm really happy with this. I'm, I'm really happy with this. So let's see. What were the changes? Uh, we... We did a lot of things. Uh, we we changed the combined output for a bit, so it no longer points to the output file, but it uh, points to an intermediate file. Um, we implemented all, imported all of Monad, of course, because we need that. Um, right, we need to re-enable the temporary directory, actually. I think of it with temp there. Uh, delete this stuff. So yeah. This looks now like this. Uh, this was also testing stuff, so we no longer need that. Um, uh, we have this new function, get music, and that get music thing is just the feature we implemented just now. And that's just, you know, um, using the input file to get the music track out, and then finally combining it back in with this massive spell. And this spell we figured out before on another stream, and you can see that in the YouTube backlog if you're interested. But we are done now, we are done. Now we can have an ugly zoomer cuts in all our videos without doing anything ourselves. Yes, we can have it automatically being edited for us. <laughs> and it doesn't cost any effort. And you know, it's a big deal if your uh, streams usually last for, no, in this case it lasted for like five hours. I'm not gonna edit five hours of video, but my computer can do it for me. So yeah, that's, that's why I wanted to make this in the first place. Anyway, um, thanks for watching everyone. Uh, it was a really good stream and really busy as well. <laughs> For my usual case. And I think we're gonna raid someone. We're gonna raid someone. Now let's see if there's anyone that's online. Um, Lovely. Well, I guess we'll raid Lovely. Or Walter Pie. Bug driven development. Still bug driven development, huh? No, let's raid Lovely. I'm not sure what he's doing though. Yes, we're gonna raid Lovely. He's doing some weird ass hacker shit. <laughs> uh, let's go. Have a good one. Yeah, th everyone, thanks for watching, by the way. It was a, uh, uh, it was a really, really like uh, busy stream. I loved it. But um, yeah, let's uh, let's raid Nuffoldy for a while, and let's uh, you know see you guys later. I'll be there. I'll be here again uh, on Friday. Um, see you guys until then. <laughs>